Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I think we've got to talk about these Imperial Guard leaks. The pictures have come up. I was just over on Reddit posting a photo of my Master of Ordnance, and then I see three pictures that were leaked for the Imperial Guard. I head over to YouTube. farak has been live streaming for an hour. So yeah, it's all kicking off. So I thought we'd have a look at the images and also some changes I've noticed on the Games Workshop website that might indicate we could be seeing some of these models pretty soon. So the first image is the Armoured Sentinel. So this is the new one and it certainly is a chunky looking vehicle, but not too different from the one we've already got. And I've got to say, I love the Sentinels. They're awesome. The Scout ones are brilliant. I haven't built any of the Armoured ones yet, so it would be cool to get the new design for the Armoured, but I think I'll definitely be picking up some more Scout ones in case they stop selling those. It looks like this one is armed with the Hunter Killer missile at the back. It's got the plasma cannon there as well. And on the far left, it just looks like a different version of a spotlight. So, and also a little bit lower down. Let's compare it to the original one. So you can see a, an idea of size, really. If we look at the plasma cannon, it doesn't look like it's gonna be all that bigger, does it? It looks quite a similar size from the image there, but certainly a big change to the front viewing port and the shape of it a little bit there. And as someone said in one of the comments over on Reddit, it does look a little bit similar to the Dune Crawler. The angles aren't quite as sharp as that, but that viewing port is definitely similar. The exhaust at the back also looks like it's curved over, so more in line with the exhaust from the Lehman Russ. So another difference there. So overall, it's looking pretty good. I don't think it's gonna be any bigger though. I was kind of hoping it would be a next size up to the original Sentinel, so I thought it might be another new one, but it's not looking that way, so I think this could just be a refresh for the Armoured Sentinel. I went to grab an image from the Games Workshop website for this video, and I looked at the Scout Sentinel and the Sentinel, and there's no pictures of the Armoured Sentinel on there, and I'm sure there was a picture of the Armoured Sentinel on one of these, and you know, looking on it, it's only got images of the Scout Sentinel, the close-ups don't show the Armoured version, so I thought that was a little bit weird, not being able to find the armoured one on their website. Does that mean we could be getting this one quite soon? And then I went back and looked at the regular Sentinel. I'm sure there was pictures here, but again, just the Scout Sentinel. It's only showing the two versions there, one 360 degree and the close-ups and the sprues. Now on the sprues, you can see the parts that do go on the armoured one, but that's it. I looked through the whole website, couldn't find anything for the armoured one. So that alongside also not having Creed on there anymore. Creed's gone now and he was there for that last chance buy and um, for a couple of weeks, but now he's gone. So you can't get Creed anymore. So the next model we'll see in a minute is very similar to him. And again, does that mean we could see them quite soon? So I looked back at the limited stock available while stocks last and again at the selling fast section and Creed's not there, nowhere to be seen. I saw the leaks for the squats earlier today and I thought if they come out before the Astra Militarum Codex, that's going to be shocking. And um, yeah, so I was a bit disappointed to be fair to get that leak. But now seeing this, this could be actually quite good news. When we start getting the leaks coming out, it's not too long until the models are released. These photos, I'm sure they were definitely on the Games Workshop website. Do you remember seeing them there? Let me know in the comments section below. This one as well. This one must have been on there. I can't imagine seeing it somewhere else. This is Games Workshop design here. It's got that fade in the background of the one on the right as well. The two colour, the white and like the grey in the background. Yeah, but if you've seen them too, let me know down below. Now we've got the second photo and this is looking like a female version of Lord Castellan Creed. So interesting, got the two pistols there. The plate armor's quite similar. Got that coat and I can't see a cigar though. But this is going to be a nice update to that model. Going to be interesting if it is his daughter, as it's been rumoured. I wonder how that will play into her data sheet, what kind of rules and special abilities she's going to get because of that. Not sure if it's the best choice for a model, though, especially for one of the main ones of the army. So, but yeah, I think we need to see the data sheet and how it's going to fit in. I guess it's just cool to get a new model for the guard anyway. And the base looks brilliant on this too. So yeah, I think the story behind this is really going to set it off. So that's what I'm looking forward to finding out more about. So what do you think? Do you like it? Do you think this is a good addition? And what's your like prediction for the relationship? There's got to be something good on here. They're very similar models. 
Actually, looking at it now, it could just be him when he was younger. I'm not sure. That chest's a bit big, though. What do you think? Yeah, is it him? Or is it a female? It's definitely got female-looking face. That jaw has definitely changed over the years if it is him. Yeah, I'm not really sure now. Right, we've got one more picture to look at, and this is the Kazakin. So these have been rumoured again. We heard the leak before seeing the pictures. Lots of people were talking about it on YouTube. And so this is really good news. Some great looking models, even the older ones. And that's going to be brilliant to get these in plastic. And again, I'll be looking forward to seeing the data sheet for these and how they're going to fit in with the army, how we play them. Be brilliant to use them as the same regiment if they've got similar abilities to the Scions. So that's going to be good because then we can get the benefit of Hammer of the Emperor. But that said, if they come out at the same time as the new Codex, then there's probably going to be some changes to that kind of thing anyway. So there you go. That's pretty exciting. And I can't wait to find out more about this. Hopefully the leaks are a good sign. It does mean we're going to get some models pretty soon. And also with those models not being on the website anymore for Games Workshop, that's got to mean something, right? And I'm sure that Armoured Sentinel was on there. I'm not imagining it. But let me know what you think down below. Are you happy with these models? Which ones you like the best? And are they as good as you hope they would be? I can't wait to hear what you think. As soon as we get more information, I'll definitely cover it here on the channel. But for now, thanks so much for watching. If you liked it, please hit the like button, subscribe for more videos like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. <laughs>